YouTube, welcome back to the channel, man. I know it's been a little bit since I've put a video out, and I do apologize for that. Real life sometimes has a takeover, especially when it comes to YouTube or Twitch or, you know, whatever platform people are on. Me personally just had a lot of stuff going on with work and a couple of uh, my daughter watches this channel, so I've already promised there's some surprises on the way, so I'm not going to spoil that just yet. But I'm glad to be back, and man, I appreciate all you guys. I see the numbers going up all the time. I've never really grinded YouTube like that. I was always on Twitch for a long time. I tried YouTube here and there to try and balance between work and streaming and Dude, it was just too much. I'd get like spurts of energy to do it for about a week or two, and then I'd drop off. And I'm coming from a community that I just grew really, really tired of. It's really toxic, and I did try and stream about a week ago or so. And you know, nothing just, there was nothing, the stuff that used to, the people and, and some of the stuff that used to bring me to the show, I just didn't feel it anymore, man. I've been having a lot of fun with this YouTube stuff been really enjoying helping some of you guys out along the way i feel like eventually there is going to be a ceiling that i hit where i either start repeating things or you know because things are searched for on such a up and down basis uh, you search for you know some of the most recent search things or the most popular things people are searching for and you realize that ah, oh, you kind of did a video talking about that but it wasn't the subject and i feel like i'm going to start repeating myself if i'm not careful so if you guys have any recommendations some things you want me to make a video about maybe some things you don't firmly have a grasp on but maybe you understand some of the parts that go with it just let me know in the comments i'll be happy to do it man i enjoyed doing this and i've just had a really good experience overall so far if you enjoyed this content or if this video helped you please leave a like and subscribe down below we're a growing channel and we're only trying to get bigger man so help a brother out enjoy the rest of the video but today let's talk about how to use forma some of the ways to get forma i'm not going to go over every single way to get forma but some of the most popular is opening relics on fisher missions which can be found in the top right of your navigation nightwave depending on which tier you've reached gives three packs of forma every few ranks and cervantes on earth believe it or not this is a sabotage mission there's a good chance that you will get forma if you find all three caches it's not guaranteed but there's a really good chance that you get some now there are ways to get built forma as well and i'll just link those videos in the top right of this video just go ahead and click on those and that way you don't have to wait the 23 hours to get the forma to be able to use some of the uses of forma a really big one is clan dojo rooms if you want to expand your dojo, you're going to have to have Forma for every single thing you put into that thing. I've put 52 Forma into my dojo. It's a very organized dojo, but I had to use 52 Forma to get there. Also, a few weapons will require Forma. Not very many, but there are a few out there that will need at least one Forma to start the building. And the number one use of Forma is polarization. Polarization is where you use Forma to reset your Warframe or weapon rank back down to zero however it gives you a slot of polarity to where you can start taking the cost of more expensive mods and cutting them in half so that you can fit more mods into your weapon and let's just take a quick look at mag mag right now see right before i started recording this video and what made me think of it is i just burned like five forma on five different weapons and this tenant cycron was one of them so you can see it's unranked, but I have mastered it once. So it's going to go up to 32 next time, but it's ranked zero now. So I have to go all the way back up and max rank it again, and then probably format again until I get to 40, because I love the Cycron, even before I knew it was a tenant weapon. But let's look at the lens, because it is max rank, and I've formed the hell out of this lens. I love this weapon. So I've mastered the lens five times, and I've put a ton of format into it. You can see all these greens on these symbols except for this one. I just ran out of reasons to really need to format again, unless I just wanted to max rank vigilante supplies, I guess. So here's the reason that format is so important. There is no way that you could fit these three mods onto this weapon if you didn't have polarization. So since this is max rank, I'll go ahead and just kind of do the process. Let's say that I wanted to format this slot right here. So what we would do is go down here to actions, whatever platform you're on, it doesn't matter. Just whatever button that is, just go ahead and do that. And then there's polarization option right here. If we click on this, it's gonna ask me to choose any of these slots and choose the symbol for that. Now, I'm obviously not gonna do this right now, but let's just say I did. After you click okay, it'll go back down to zero and you'll have to master it all over again. This is not count towards your mastery rank progress, however. So if you're trying to get to your next mastery rank, Forming a weapon still draws affinity when you're on missions and leveling things up, but it's not going to count towards this status bar that's going towards your next mastery rank. Just keep that in mind. But what it is going to do is it's going to take really expensive mods, which is where I recommend to start first, 
and it's going to cut their cost in half. These aren't so bad. Metal auger is kind of expensive. But these up here, 18, 16, and 16, this ribbon goes down to 9, and these 16s go down to 8. So that gives you so much more room, not only to fit more mods into your Warframe or weapon, but also rank them up even stronger so that no matter how expensive they are, you're always cutting them down to single digits. So that is the process of format and how to use it. Clan dojo rooms, gonna need it. Crafting weapons, sometimes you're gonna need it, but polarization and making yourself stronger, that's the most important thing when it comes to format. So get in there, rank those things up. Once you hit max rank, if you really want to keep that weapon, forma it up, man. I appreciate you guys and all the support. I really see it every day. Y'all have a good rest of your day, man. I'm out of here.